More violence in Egypt today. The death toll is now more than a thousand since protests against the ouster of Islamist President Mohamed Morsi erupted last week. And now a court ruled to release another ex president, the jailed Hosni Mubarak. And that could trigger more unrest. Youssef Gamal Al Din has the latest from Cairo. It's been another turbulent 24 hours for Egypt, starting off with violence in the northern part of the Sinai Peninsula, where we understand that 25 police conscripts were ambushed and executed with a machine gun. Three of them remain critically injured, and that comes off the back of an attempted prison break, we understand, from the Egyptian Ministry of Interior, where 36 supporters of Assad President Mohamed Morsi were killed. The violence is likely to flare further the discussion about U.S. financial assistance to Egypt's military, a tune of $1.3 billion. But here's the drawback. Perhaps now the Saudi foreign minister making it clear that any threat in terms of cutting assistance would be met with a reaction from Saudi Arabia. They're happy to fill that gap. In other developments, news that the former president, Hosni Mubarak, may be able to walk free. That's according to his defense lawyer, Farid Deep. However, experts I talk to say that it is unlikely to happen, given the political tensions in this country. I'm Yusuf Gamedadine for Nightly Business Report, Cairo. The unrest in Egypt is impacting shares of Apache. The oil and natural gas giant has 20 percent of its production and 17 percent of its net asset value in its operations in Egypt. Shares of Apache fell four and a half percent today following an analyst downgrade from buy to hold because of its exposure to Egypt. No comment, though, from Apache.